Hello and welcome back. Today we're here at Aquarium Shop Color, just a beautiful aquascaping store, as well as Terrarium and Paladarium store. They they just do everything, and it's a really really neat little store. You can see the hardscape materials here. They've got everything and we'll take a look at them in just a moment. But over here, you've got some stuff for your outdoor ponds. So you can see they sell plants like this. Uh, this is uh, some type of bacopa, I think. And then the rest of these, I'm not too sure. But all you do with this is you just grab a pot, you stick it in your mini pond, kind of like this right here in the image. And it's a natural way to filter your pond. So like the ones I've got at home, I don't filter them at all. We just put plants in them and the plants will do all the filtration. So take a look at this. There are rice fish in there and those are actually really, really beautiful rice fish. Look how red they are. That is nice. But yeah, then you can see all the hardscape materials here too. They've just got a huge selection. Look at all the rocks over here, all the driftwood. Let's take a look at the rocks. A whole bunch of different varieties. Uh, you've got some small dragon stones right here. You've got the big ones over there also. We'll take a closer look. But this stone, I really like and I'm thinking about getting some of this because this is like a nice river stone. It'll be nice for a river aquascape. And yeah, I might use this for my next contest tank. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. I'm not too sure yet, but we'll see. And then you've got Seiryu stones, one of the most popular rocks in the hobby. Take a look at that. They've got huge ones inside as well, we can see later. Uh, but right here, this is pretty cool. This is like your aquascaping dojo. You've got various sizes, even for nano tanks. You've got your little scaping dojo, so you can pick out your hardscape materials, your wood, rocks, put them here, try to build a layout, and if you like it, you can just take a picture of it and bring it home. So, really nice little dojo right here. And you can see they've got like 60 centimeter tanks, 90 centimeters, 120 centimeters, so they've got everything right here. But over here, you can see this rock, the Dragonstone. This thing is a beautiful rock. I don't have any of these at home, but I think they're really cool. Maybe one day I'd like to use them. Uh, over here, this is a nice lava rock. It's also called Sansui Stone here in Japan. Really cool textures on that, but I think uh, that's enough of the hardscape materials. Take a look at this driftwood. I just love driftwood. I think you can make such amazing scapes just using driftwood. So yeah, I think let's go and take a look inside now. All right, so let's go inside. You can see it says mask. So we need to wear a mask inside. I'm wearing a mask right now. Let's go and take a look inside. And I'm gonna talk quietly because uh, I don't wanna disturb anyone in here, so let's go quietly. All right, so let's start over here. Well, you can't really see this, but there's a couple of terra bases in here and just moss covered in it. Really nice looking tank, but there's no water, so this is a terrarium. And then over here, you've got a nano aquarium. I don't think there's any... Yeah, it looks like it's newly set up because you can see the hair glass hasn't carpeted, but... Oh yeah, this right here. The series stones. Look at how amazing the textures are. Look at that. Man, I really want that rock. But stones like that, big ones, are gonna be quite expensive. So over here you've got a few nano tanks. Take a look at this. Really nice, stylish little tanks. I think these stuff will be great for an office environment. You can see a little rice fish in there. See a beautiful rice fish there. I like this. I like how the water trickles down. And we won't take a look at everything because then this video will be a couple hours long. Uh, but I'll show you some of the interesting stuff. So this tank right here, this is a 180 centimeter tank or a six foot tank. You can see three solar RGBs lights by ADA. And just take a look at the Tetras. This is one of my favorite right here. The Royal Tetra. Impact these carry. And then the angel fish in here. Take a look. Just massive. There's more. There's some smaller ones. Really nice and simple looking tank. And then this is a nice ADA uh, 60 centimeter aquarium. 
It's the high type though, it's 45 centimeters tall. And you can see the plants in here look super healthy. I love the Rotella HRA. Look at how red that is. Incredible. And the light, the ADA Solar RGB. Same as these ones over here. Really, really nice setup. Yeah, the cabinet also looks really neat. The plants though, look at this Myriophyllum Matogrossens. I don't know if I just said that right, but plants are super healthy in this tank. Look at the carpet. The Glossostigma carpet. Then we've got the Starogyne Repens. So yeah, this is one of my favorite tanks here. 60 centimeter ADA aquascape tank. Just beautiful. And over here you've got these two ginormous tanks. This one here on the left is a terrarium. This one here is a paludarium. And just look at, look at the driftwood up here. Of course they're for sale, but man, it's gotta be a, quite a price to those driftwood. They're beautiful. really want them. It's two of them, by the way. It's two. Yeah, but take a look at this. If I had this at home, this, this, I would just stare at this all day. Such a natural setup. Look at the plants here. I don't know if there's any animals in here, but I think you could definitely have some uh, little poison dart frogs in here. I think it would make a nice, really neat setup for them. And then this right here is a paludarium. Kind of neat. There's goldfish in this tank. Not often you get to see goldfish in a little paludarium, so that's pretty unique. This plant here, the Philodendron Papua New Guinea. Look at the driftwood, that is just a massive piece of driftwood, really nice. And then over here, this is kind of like the terrarium uh, and the moss setup, so you can see here all these little moss terrariums. Super cute. And this is a beautiful one. Look at that. I'm sorry about the reflections, there's a lot of lights in this store, so I apologize there, but right here, take a look at this. This is the new ADA system Pallida. They call it a Pallida, or Paludarium, but in Japan it's kind of the opposite way around, because a Paludarium here in Japan is what we know as a terrarium. So this is a terrarium to us because there's no water, but in Japan, people call this a paludarium. It's kind of uh, weird, but you can see the Hygra Filipina tofida. Beautiful. Just amazing, and I love the way he uses the wood here. You can just see the Hygra Filipina tofida creeping on the wood, as well as the moss. Just an incredible looking setup. Over here you've got a nice, this is what we call a paludarium, but then in Japan people call this a terrarium. Got a little beta in here. You can see a bubble nest right there. Water level's a little bit low, but no issues there. Over here, this is a beautiful Iwagumi. Or you could say a Dutch style, but I don't know, I'd say a mix, because there's, there's quite a bit of stem plants in here, so... And I really like the fish selection in this tank. It's a bunch of tiny little Brigitte Rosboras. It's really hard to focus on these lens, but I'll try to get some B-roll of that. Uh, but I think it's just really nice to see a bunch of tiny little fish in quite a large tank. This is a 3 foot tank, 90 centimeter tank. And yeah, it's, it's just really refreshing to see something like this. And this whole lineup is the ADA uh, Aquascape tank section for the store. And then opposite of that you've got all these nano little tanks and right here is a little paludarium and I love the way it's being lit up by this little spot lamp right here you can just see how healthy the plants are as well as the moss super nice yeah, and then over here all the little nano tanks we'll take a quick look 
Uh, right now, I don't think there's any fish in them, but I'm sure you can definitely keep some tiny little fish um, as well as shrimp. You can see some Amano shrimp in here. And I know some internet people are gonna hate this, um, that I just said you can put fish in here, but it's really true. In Japan, this is very common because the plants are the filters of the tanks. You can see there's no filters at all. It's just the plants doing the filtration. And then down below, you've got another row of these nano tanks, and these are super nice. They're like little bowls, uh, but you can just see how well the plants are growing. There's no CO2 in this. It's just the light and the soil that's growing the plants. And if you add fish in there, the fish will produce CO2 for the plants to, um, to grow. And then the plants will give off oxygen. So it's a nice cycle. And then below that, you've got all the soil. Uh, there's sand over in the other side. We'll take a look at later. Uh, but here, this is a 60p aquarium. And many people ask, what does the P stand for? It's just ADA's way of saying it's a 60 centimeter standard size aquarium. So this is it right here. The one we saw just now. This, I think, is a 60H uh, high type. So it's same 60 centimeters side to side, but it's just taller. So, yeah, that is that. Really nice. This is a nice nature style setup. Like all the tanks here are nature style. You're not gonna see that many uh, diorama, but just look at the fish in here. They look super healthy. The colors of the plants are so nice. Next to that, over here, this is a 45 centimeter tank. Uh, so the ADA 45P is what they call it. And this one is really nice too. I love the use of the Hygrophila pinatifida. You'll see a little bit of blackbeard algae in here, but I think it just makes it look more natural. But I don't know. It, it's just a uh, preference. I'll, I'll definitely try to get rid of it, but if I get blackbeard algae, I'm not gonna panic or whatnot because it's not gonna harm the fish in any way. You can see all the fish are really healthy in here. So yeah. And then the tank beside that, I can't really show you because he entered that in the contest, IAPLC contest, and yeah, we can't show it, so I'm sorry about that, but maybe you'll find it in the contest books. Over here you've got a bunch of plants, potted plants from Tropica and uh, other sources, I'm not too sure. I only know Tropica plants like this Bulbitis right here. Yeah, and then you've got a bunch of Cryptocorns. I got some of my Cryptocorns from here. Look at this Cryptocorn Balance. This one will grow really tall if you give it the right environment. I've got some of that in my four foot tank. And then over here, this is a refrigerator for tissue culture plants. And you've also got a good selection of Bucephalandra. Like, Bucephalandra is like the trendy plant in Japan right now, so everyone's looking for Bucephalandra. Down here as well, you've got a bunch of Bucephalandras. So that's pretty cool. And then this is the ADA Wabikusa. You can see some Lagenandras. Hygrophila pinatifidas as well. And then some aquatic plants. And you've got plants bagged up as well. Some uh, java ferns. Yeah, so you've got a good plant selection as well in this store. Look at that. I really love just taking a look at all the different types of stem plants and seeing if there's any I can add to my own tanks. Here you've got some nano tanks, and this is some of the sand selection I was talking about just now. It's gravel, sand, pebbles. Yeah, really nice. Take a look at this right here. The Hygrophila pinosophita in this. Super red color, like pinkish. It's beautiful. Look at the Rosbora. This guy's an odd little shape, Rosboras, but... Yeah, super nice. I love this setup right here. It's like half pink, half green. And over here you've got a little nano tank. This one has a hang-on back filter. You can see the 
neon tetras. I think this is the golden neon tetra or... Yeah. Nano tanks are also really popular here, so... This is a 4 footer. 120 centimeter tank. I really like this one. It just looks so... I don't know what the word is, it's like... So... so cool. So relaxing to watch this tank. You can see the platinum, rummy nose tetras. I love the shadows in this tank, it just, the, the, the darkness it gives, it just looks nice. Yeah, another ADA tank. So this is the same size tank I've got at home that I entered in the contest. This tank is using the two ADA solar RGB lights. Of course, I'm using the Chihiros Vivid RGB, because I just, I can't afford uh, ADA lights. Yeah, even the ADA cabinet looks really nice. And then you've got some ADA products here. Fertilizers, fish food, bug bites. Here in Japan we call it the fly mix. Yeah, so really nice. I love the setup of this store. Here you can see this more Wabi Kusa. And then down below you've got rice fish in these little tubs. Look at the colors of these. These like platinum ones. Look at that, that is beautiful. And there's more back behind too. I didn't even realize that there are this many rice fish here. That's pretty neat. And then, on this side over here, you've got your fish selection. Quite a nice range, actually. There's not too many, but I think it's nice um, to not have so many fish. Because it just makes... I don't know, just... Simplicity is sometimes better. If you have too many tanks to maintain, then... Um, it'll just be hard to take care of the store and this store is being run by one person so I think he's doing a really great job take a look at these rummy nose tetras look how red their noses are and you've got the rosy tetra some barbs, golden barbs Really, really nice. Cherry barbs. Rasboras. Chili rasboras. And down below you've got some larger tetras. Like the red phantom. Some Siamese algae eaters. Congo tetras. The gold line Congo tetra. That is really nice. Yeah, take a look at this guy. It's beautiful. Yeah. And I like how there are plants in these tanks. Most stores, they don't put plants in the tanks where they sell the fish from. And I know it makes catching fish uh, much harder, but having a little bit is nice. And you can just see all the products that they carry. Okay, you've got some terrarium plants. We're not gonna go through them because I have no clue at all what these are. Maybe one day I'll get interested and keep a few of these plants. I really want to do something like this someday that we looked at earlier. This is really nice, but right now I can't do that. But just Everything is so neat here. This tank is beautiful, the Autumn Angels. One of my dream fish definitely will be getting this someday. I used to keep them, but that was back when I was in Singapore. I sold them away someday. 
I really want to set up a tank just for these guys. Look at this. Really beautiful. more terrariums. And you can just hear the sound of the water trickling. Super relaxing. Over here as well. Take a look at this one. This one's amazing. This was this was all built, escaped by the owner of the store. You can kind of get a glimpse of how he does it here. Look at this. This is some kind of uh, styrofoam that he put together. I think he's silicone together. And you just build on top of that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more content like this, fish store tours, and I'll see you guys next time.